Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about this whole coronavirus hysteria and show you how you can use this as a massive opportunity to be a leader to the people around you, to your family, to your friends, to your business partners, to your clients. These times of mass fear and panic, these times of turmoil, give you the opportunity to test what you're made of, to resist the urge to run into your hole like a scared little rat and instead to stand up strong and be an example to the people around you. In these tough times, people need a leader more than ever. Now, I was hoping I'd never have to talk about this whole coronavirus thing. You know, I've lived through SARS, I've lived through the swine flu, I've lived through Zika, and all these global pandemics, some of which were a lot worse than this coronavirus, but didn't cause nearly the amount of hysteria that this one is causing. And the truth is, the fear and the panic causes a lot more harm than the disease could ever cause. For one thing, ironically, the more you're afraid of catching some disease, the more fear you have just in general, the more you weaken your immune system and the more susceptible you are to actually catching that disease. But much more important than the actual disease itself is the economic consequences that this is going to have. Businesses are getting hit really hard because people are huddling up, afraid, in their houses, and they're refusing to go outside. They're refusing to go shop. They're refusing to go to events. So everything's getting canceled, and businesses are going to get hit really hard by this. The stock market's already down considerably, and it will only get worse if we continue letting this mass hysteria take over. So your job, if you want to stand up and be a leader in this, is just live your daily life. Quit living in fear. Quit limiting yourself because of your, you're afraid of something that the news media said was a threat. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you understand the value of alternative media. You understand that the news media spreads negativity and fear. Their job, their job 24-7 is to try to get you to panic. That is what they are always doing. Now, most of the time, people don't really buy into it, or they buy into it a little bit. It's only rarely that they have the level of success that they're having with this, this coronavirus thing. The mass hysteria that they are creating with this is what they are trying to do all the time. And this time, unfortunately, they're succeeding. And of course, the politicians love this, right? Because the more afraid you are, the more you look outside of yourself for help for your own life, the more you rely on the government, right? And then the more you, you destroy the economy because you're afraid, the more you rely on the government to keep you safe, the more you rely on the government to provide for you, the more you rely on the government to bail out your businesses. There are a lot of people that have a huge interest in making you afraid, but the more afraid you are, the worse your life is gonna be and the worse the life of all the people around you is going to be. So if you want to be different, you have to say, no, I'm not gonna be afraid. And I'm not afraid of people calling me irresponsible. I'm not afraid of people calling me a denier. I'm willing to take a little bit of risk to do what's best for the society around me and ultimately the best for my own soul. Why? Because I have faith. Faith is the opposite of fear. Faith means that you know that you're temporarily inhabiting a corporeal body and that body is going to die eventually and there's a million different ways that you can die. The coronavirus may be one of them, but there's 999,999 other ways that you could get killed. You're much more likely to get killed in a car accident every single day than you are to die from this disease. So you need to look at your life from a more holistic level. Recognize that this life on this earth in this body is temporary. And eventually, you are going to have to change this outer garment that you're wearing. Eventually, something is going to kill you. Whether that's coronavirus or something else, you need to get that through your head that you are going to die and you need to be able to make peace with that. You need to figure out what your spiritual life is about, what you are working towards on a spiritual level, and once you catch sight of that, once you learn what that is, then all of a sudden, the threat of death just doesn't bother you so much anymore. All of a sudden, you recognize that it's not worth retarding your own development as a spiritual being just to make you feel a little bit safer. And it's not gonna make you safer, by the way. That's the ironic part, right? You're weakening your immune system when you give into this. But people wanna feel safer and they're willing to sacrifice their spiritual progress in order to do that. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't prepare, right? People are buying the, the food off the shelves, right? Go buy some food. 
right? There, there might be a shortage. If there's a problem, it's probably gonna be an economic problem because of the hysteria, right? It's not gonna be a health problem, it's gonna be an economic problem. So absolutely prepare for that. In fact, you should be prepared for that anyway because that could happen at any time with or without a global pandemic. So sure, buy some food, buy some toilet paper, because people are going completely out of their minds buying toilet paper for some reason that I don't understand. But the fact that everybody else is going out of their minds buying toilet paper means that there's gonna be a shortage of toilet paper for a little while. So you should probably go stock up on some toilet paper or else you're gonna be the only one that doesn't have any. But anyway, if you wanna do some good for the society around you, then recognize that by staying home, by canceling all your plans, by being a hermit, by being a frightened little mouse, shut up inside your hole that you're making life worse for everybody else. You're crashing the economy, you're killing businesses, and if you were just to keep doing things that you normally do, if you're to push past the fear, not listen to the propagandists that are trying to make you panic, then life for all of us is gonna be a whole lot better. Now I realize this turned into a little bit of a rant, and I was gonna talk about how you can create opportunities from this whole coronavirus panic. How you can use this to your advantage if you realize the big picture of what's going on. And I mean that from a business standpoint. And I, I touched on that a little bit because you can position yourself as a leader. If you're the only one that's not afraid, you're the one that's, that's standing firm and you're the one that's not afraid, you automatically position yourself as a leader. But I'm thinking in a future video, I might go a little bit more into how to leverage that and how to actually profit from it. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video about that. And you might also like a video I did a little while ago telling you how you can thrive in an economic recession. So you can watch that video here. And of course, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and please share this video because a lot of people right now need to hear this.